Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome to today's fun fat burning Tabata workout and these are nice simple cardio exercises. Right, let's warm up first before we begin. We're just step touching, bringing those arms out to the side. You can start off making the move nice and small and we can gra gradually increase our leg moves and arm moves to bring that heart rate up a little bit more. So just increasing range of mo uh, motion or range of movement helps to bring that heart rate up a little bit more. Okay, so another Tabata today. So you know the sequence is 10 seconds for a quick rest or quick transition or just to watch the next move and just 20 seconds to do the work and then we move on to the next exercise. So there are four exercises in set one. That'll take about four minutes and we have five sets. So 20 minutes for your main body of your workout. Right, let's make this move bigger now. Nice and big with those arms. Reach and reach. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now let's do some high knees. Now bring that knee up as high as you can keep your back nice and straight. Use the arms, get all the limbs moving to increase your heart rate even more. Nice big moves, big arms, big legs. Nice and exaggerated. Lift and lift. Get that little bit of a spring in your step. Good, and lift, lift and lift. Now let's talk about our breathing. So it's important that we don't hold our breath. Open up the mouth, get the air in and breathe it all out. Get that air circulating around to all those working muscles. Let's do 10, nine, eight. This is a tough one. This will be an exercise in itself. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Quick march, take it to the side, and back over to the other side. Keep that little space between your feet. That's important so you don't stand on one foot. And you can do a little tap of the floor to let the leg lead. And tap and lead. That's it, tap and lead. Come pump those arms. Let's do two more. Tap and lead. Now hold it here in the middle, crisscross the arms. You can go nice and high over your head. Work your way down the front of the body. Reach up and down. Nice swift moves there with your arms. Good, keep going, come on, over the head and down in front of the body. And reach and down. Keep going, come on, 10 more. Nine and eight, seven, six, five. I want to step out to the side now. Three more, two more, last one. Okay, step and step. Keep those arms going. Step and step. Bring them up at least to shoulder height if you can. And contract the shoulder as the arm comes up. Contract, contract, that's it. Lift and lift. Heart rate should be coming up a little bit more now. As we get through our warm up here. Lift and lift. Let's do another 10. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna just step out to the side, put a little bit more behind you, and then punch out. Think about punching both, both corners of the room. Drive that weight across, or your hand across. And step. Keep breathing now, in and out. Get that air to circulate. Slight bend in the knee as you step back. And keep a slight bend in the supporting leg too. If you're feeling a bit energized, you can add a little spring to the step there. A little, small little hop in the middle. You don't have to, you can keep it low impact. Punch it out, punch it out. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and let's go into some pendulum now. So lift and lift. Squeeze out these little muscles here at the outside of our hip area. And squeeze it out. Keep on breathing now. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. So we have a nice selection of exercises coming up with this one today. Guaranteed to get that heart pumping, a bit of sweat flowing, make us feel good mentally and physically. Let's do two more. And last one. Now open up the hips and get our rainbow legs going here. Bring that knee up as high as you can. It doesn't fall, uh, cause you to fall over or tip over or make you lean backwards. So again, engaging the tummy muscles is important here. So drawing that belly button in towards the spine. And open. You may feel a little tight at first, but as you go through each rep, your body should respond. And open and open. Good, let's do another two. And last one, and reach. And just again, getting some nice circles for the shoulders. Get the upper half ready too, that's important. And just a little seat there in the middle. Bounce or ballistic move for the lower half. Again, don't fall forward. Keep your chest up. That's good, nice big moves there with the arms. And last two, and last one. And as always, I like to get those ankles nice and warm in the little bones and the feet. It's going to be moving quite swiftly for you now for the next little while. So it's important to get them ready. Gently press the heel down into the floor. And always think nice, tall, straight posture as well while you do that. Use the arms. Keep going with that for another 10 seconds or so. I want to just show you the first move. It's very simple, wide knee raise. Think wide here. So again, the purpose of that is just again for opening up the hips, working on that groin area. That's your first move and I'll talk you through everything as we go. Right, let's go with it. So it's 10 seconds before we begin and then 20 seconds of work. So be ready for this one. Okay, lift, lift. Now really punch out the ceiling here with me. And punch, punch it out. Now if there's any moves that you want, that you see me doing a little bit of hopping or jumping with today, you can just do low impact. So our next one is a run on the spot. It's a little run on the spot with a crisscross. But if you don't want to do that, you can fast step and crisscross. Okay, let's go with that one. Nice and light on your toes here. And drive those elbows back and feel your shoulder blades, or your muscles between your shoulder blades contracting. That's it. Keep going. Now, next one. March in the middle now, so watch me here. So we have a side step, side leg lift side step side leg lift okay join me now and lift side step side leg lift good and lift it up and squeeze it out try not to fall to the side and squeeze side step and squeeze now we've got the other side to do you can add arms if you want to march in between Add a little jog in between. Side step, side leg lift. And squeeze it out. Again, making sure you've got your abdominals engaged so you don't tip over here, especially when you lift the leg up like that. Now we've got another round of this coming up. So we're back to those wide knee raises. Let's march it out. And we get ready for that. lift lift now pump out pu push the ceiling away there 
really drive the fist up lift and lift and lift come on we can do it you can speed up if you want to or slow it down that's good too right march it out we're going to run on the spot next crisscross the arms or jog it out or step it if you want to continue stepping okay crisscross the arms let's get into it straight away time is short with Tabata that's it work hard come on crisscross over your head if you want to really increase that heart rate well done okay march it out we'll go this way now for side step side leg lift just to mix it up okay side step side leg lift side step squeeze it out you can add in those arms if you want to leave them out if they're a little bit confusing side step arms are just mimicking the legs here and squeeze well done okay march it out all right let's get into the last move in set one we'll head into set two same sequence four exercises repeated twice side step squeeze it out side step squeeze it out and squeeze and lift put your foot down if you need to regain that balance that's no harm at all and lift well done okay march it out there next move starting position arms high and we're going to bring them down to meet that knee coming up okay let's go with that now really crunch out your abs here this is a great standing abdominal exercise and crunch just a slight little c curve there elbows down keep going come on we're just there well done okay marching in the middle and then we have a little body weight slam coming next and sit and reach and reach quite a stationary move but very dynamic very ballistic get that heart rate up for you good and lift down and reach down reach well done okay next we're going to step back kick out with the opposite leg step kick step kick let's go together now step kick step kick other leg is next so just take note what leg is leading or stepping back here because you have to switch it around step kick step have fun with it this is a nice fun move step and kick okay left leg stepping back if you started on the right or just switch it if you need to keep the heart rate up there step kick we have another round of this coming up so back to those tummy crunches that standing ab exercise step kick step kick it out step kick step and kick well done okay marching in the middle nice brisk march starting position now is arms high here okay slam down and down you can move around the room and squeeze it out squeeze squeeze feel those abdominals contracting as the ribs come down to the leg nearly there last one okay now we've got another kind of slam but more stationary body weight slam this is a great one with a, a, a light dumbbell down reach up slam reach very much one of these exercises where we accelerate and then decelerate great for muscle growth and reach up down and reach down and reach good well done that was great now we'll start with the left leg this time step back kick out all right it's coming up with each move kick it out 
kick, step back, kick, step back, kick. Other leg is next to finish out set two, and we're heading into set three. Step back, kick, well done. Okay, right leg will step back. Get ready any second. Here we go. Kick, step back, kick, step back, kick, and kick. Come on, keep the body moving. That's it, you're doing great. Going through each move nicely now. And kick. Well done. Okay, that's eight minutes. Right, we're into one. Two side step, two pendulum. Okay, let's go. One, two, lift, lift, tap, tap, lift, lift, tap the floor, then lift, lift. One, two, lift, lift, one, two, and we'll finish it. Great work. Now we're into keep marching, step touch, chest opener. I'll stay with it, join me when you're ready. Okay, step touch it. Open and close. Lovely uh, chest and front to shoulder exercise. Great for your mobility there, your upper thoracic mobility. We've got a leg curl coming next. Get those hamstrings going today. March it out. Have a little rest if you need it. Leg curl now. Join me on the beep. Upright row. Whew. This set now is really shooting the heart rate up. Keep breathing. Nice big deep breaths. Drive those elbows up high. Feel those posture muscles working. Kick it out. Kick. Kick. Come on, you can do it. Well done. Okay, last move, set one. Repeat it then. Star jacks. Sit down, tap it out. Reach up. Now let's go together. Nice high reaches up to the ceiling. And step and reach. Don't fall forward now again using the abdominals to control the stability of your, your spine. Okay, ready. Exercise one again. Let's come around quickly. Two stepping out to the side, two pendulum. Arms just mimic the legs. Let's go. One, two, lift, lift. One, two, squeeze it out. One, two, lift and lift. One, two, squeeze, squeeze. Well done. Okay, that's a nice one. Really feeling that there. Step touch, chest opener. March it out. Okay, step over. Now, open, open. Come on, you can do this. Nice big chest move. This will bring us up to 12 minutes now once we're done and we'll head into set four. Leg curl is next. Put your upright row. Let's march in the, in the middle. That's it, good, keep going. Ready for leg curl now. Really bring that heel right up to your bottom there, your backside, your butt cheeks, whatever you like to call the rear. <laughs> and high elbows. Kick it out. Kick, kick, kick. Star jacks are next. Let's make the next move nice and big. Well done. Okay. Again, that little march in the middle helps just to Take a moment to ourselves. Think about what's coming next. Okay, sit, reach, come on, nice and big. Make that body nice and long and straight. Now that's the end of set three. We're heading into set four. Come on, we can do it. Reach up, well done, march there. Watch me for the next one, knee raise, out to the side. Whoops, don't lose your balance. Core engagement, very important. Out to the side. Knee, 
just step out or if you want to go into it a little deeper lunge there that's fine Let's see what you can do there today knee out to the side out to the side other side is next okay very important that we provide balance for the body all right get ready for that knee raise stepping out to the side knee out to the side come on lift and out and don't worry if you find one side a little bit has a little bit more give in your range of movement than the other that's perfectly normal with most people i'd say come on you can do it great work march it out now we have our modified curtsy and a chest press so a bit of a push move coming next stepping and pushing that's it working the chest if you think of a push up works your chest so anytime you push something get a bit of chest action that's it come on you can add a little a bit of a hop there if you don't mind keep it low impact though if you prefer great work now we have a step back keep marching there as you watch and then three on one side three on the other let's go one two three this is great for the ankles quick uh, shift in your ankles there it's great for their strength and their mobility one two three getting out of breath now one two three one two and three back to the knee raise let's go left this time okay round two here we go knee out to the side and out to the side good keep your chest up don't let your chest fall forward out to the side and that's a little tummy crunch again driving that knee up you feel some action going on around your your muscles there around your rib cage okay let's do that other side oh knee and out feeling a little bit more of movement this side a bit more flexible second round which is great that's a good sign your body's responding and lift and out and well done okay really feeling the energy starting to flow now exiting the legs behind chest press okay and over keep it nice and low and go slow if you have to here if you have that little energy coming into your body now you can add that little hop keep it nice and light for your joints push away great work right let's finish out with our step back and then we'll head into the last set all right it's three and three here okay one two three switch one two three lift for two three and change one two three and repeat come on one two three and one and two and three okay watch this one march it out step touch kick so right to left kick right to left kick let's go and kick right to left kick it's a lovely fun exercise just bring your right leg over to meet your left and then kick it out with the left leg next exercise it's just all in reverse for the other side okay so it is left to right kick left to right kick it's just the same thing on the other side with the left leg leading that's it kick left to right kick kick it out come on you can do it kick it out and kick and kick come on we can do it let's finish it now you can either step this one across the room okay just step it across or you can add that little jump or a little hop in the middle 
to increase that heart rate a little bit more before you finish out and over i love this exercise it's a lovely uplifting energetic move and lift and lift well done okay two knee repeater march it out there if you need to knee 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 okay let's go with this come on one two one two now really drive those arms down again another great standing abdominal exercise We've got a few in here today one and two last time one and two well done okay step touch now we let the left lead this time okay so left to right kick open the legs wide that helps i think with this move but left to right kick left to right kick kick keep going come on we're nearly there great job today tabatas are great for really getting the heart rate up fast well done okay now right to left kick just do a wide march here because i think it helps this move you start with the legs wide all right let's go right to left kick right to left kick right to left kick it out nice bit of hamstring work coming in with that kick you can feel the back of those legs working that's it good kick it out well done okay ready to skip across the room or march across with those big arms coming over the head all right let's go and lift it up <coughs> excuse me keep the body moving and over we go lift that head right up to the ceiling reach up it's a lovely exercise this one great fun okay last move and we've completed our tabata to the repeater let's go for it okay one two and change one two switch for two switch for two squeezing out those abdominals and one and two one and two come on there you go well done big clap big thumbs up for you what a wonderful workout that was today okay keep the body moving now little marches heart rate sure to be high after all those moves that we got in for the last 20 minutes or so i'm including that warm-up that was a nice um nice fast warm-up there today breathe it in breathe it out great work now i had a question from a viewer just regarding one of the stretches we did there recently so she, she was just asking me to could i show a modified version so we'll do that today if you haven't got a step an ottoman a coffee table or you might be even able to go onto the floor with this one yourself just something to raise you up off the the ground modifies this stretch kitchen chair is wonderful as well if you have one handy now what we're doing here is we're just stretching out the groin and uh, opening up those hips a little bit coming up onto a height may allow you to get your your foot level with your hand here okay so usually i would go down onto the floor with this stretch it's quite intense it does require a lot of mobility in around the hips so if you're having trouble with it bring your two feet together and then switch sides so if you're having trouble with it just raising yourself up allows you to get into the stretch with just a little less mobility needed keep working on your mobility so important guarantee you'll get to the floor before you know it that's it now keep this back leg active don't let it sink down to the floor and as always keep your abdominals active too so engaging and feeling tension around the middle and if you can hold this for maybe 30 seconds just give the body a little chance to respond step your foot back step one in step the other one in 
and come on up now let's stretch out that chest abs engaged as well try not to arch so we're not leaning back here like this nice straight spine that's good lift up and you don't have to be yanking them and trying to get up as high as possible that's not what we're looking for here we're just looking for a little bit of height a little bit of range of movement the range of movement is quite small here but it's it's quite a, a significant stretch for your chest and the front of the shoulders here great it feels good now so over the head here and again as always holding on to that core engagement is very important particularly if you're going to bend to the side okay so reaching across nice C curve stretch feeling tension in around that navel area and it's like you're trying to push your hand to the other side of the room here come back to the middle if you've lost that little bit of tension around your middle draw that belly button to your spine so what you're really doing is you're, you're tensing up your pelvic floor region so your pelvic floor muscles and that in turn then <clears throat> switches on the transversus abdominis which is our natural corset around the middle and that keeps the spine stable so I'm more for these days rather than crunching out and being on the floor crunching out hundreds of reps these days I'm more for trying to do exercises and work on my core stability to look after the spine reach across well done I hope you're feeling nice and energized now after that workout today and I'm going to link up a longer cool down for you and as always you'll find it underneath the video here in my description box uh, you'll find a cool down playlist plenty to choose from there thank you so much for joining me today what a wonderful workout that was and I'll see you in the next one big thumbs up to you